we literally worked another business day. <laughs> I mean, it's almost midnight. It's 11.50 p.m. right now. Uh, we worked another business day after the business day that I already worked, which we did not vlog. Uh, Call so, you an entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So tonight, I'm headed to UF. I'm speaking at Delta Sigma Pi Business Fraternity. I'm expecting a pretty good group. Should be a lot of fun. Just gonna talk about New Scooters for Lessons story and get into whatever questions they have. Um, that's one of the things that I absolutely love about going back to UF is being able to answer questions that college students have, getting ready to transition to this next chapter of their life and being able to take my 15 years of experience being an entrepreneur, being outside of school, and uh, being able to like help others with that transition. So, looking forward to it. So, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Underrated, underrated, we the underdogs, underestimated. underestimated. Yeah. Underrated, underrated, we the underdogs, underestimated. We the one. Like, all right, we need to make sure that we're maximizing this one dealership before we even think about it. And now I'm into so many other things. Like, I love scooters and could absolutely duplicate it across the country if I wanted to. But I've learned a lot about social media, mm -hmm. branding, marketing, and so now I do that for other companies. Okay. And you know, we my favorite is personal branding. Like, we have a CEO in New York, a CEO in Chicago. And these are people that we're creating content for all the time and they're oh, okay. you know so it's so that's a is that a that's a separate business is like it is yeah it's what right? it's my primary focus now okay. is that what yeah. repaint the wall is mm -hmm. that's it so repaint the wall is a digital media unagency oh i've seen the ads yeah so we, we say we say digital digital media unagency because we've all when we were describing this agency it was very you know, all the words started with un. It was like unique, unorthodox, just very out, just very outside the box. And the reason being is because we focus on uh, building brand through three primary methods, social media, video. So we do a lot of video content and then personal branding. Uh, we don't really, we don't build websites. We don't do that kind of stuff. Like we're the company you would hire if you wanted a badass YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Who has a TikTok account? Is anybody? One? I downloaded it like two weeks ago just because I was tired I'm of behind. being behind. Okay, so like. Someone that's a sophomore, I'm a junior, they were like, oh yeah, like TikTok. I'm like, okay, I got that my little sister that's in high school has it. But right. Like, that's why I downloaded it. So, yeah, I felt like yeah. old. I felt okay. like outdated. Right? So welcome to old people world. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't, that's funny because I don't, I didn't expect any hands to go up. But why it's important for me is because your sister is going to be buying a scooter in three years when she, you know, yeah. if she's 15 yeah. and she's going to be eight, you know, like when does, when she does go to school, those high schoolers grew up on that platform. And that's why it's important for me to like use influencers and, you know, ads. We're, we're like trying to reach out to TikTok because they, I want to do ads. I just want to like test it, but it's very like limited right now. So. so from a content perspective, you were talking about you do a lot of video. What is your opinion on like IGTV? Because in my opinion, it's all, all but dead. I don't think I've watched more than one video on I watch it. so um, many. You do? I, yeah, I, don't. Watch, I, do I don't. I don't. Like, I, I never watch So them. I watch... Yeah, people that do their makeup. Though, what the content is. Nah, I'm a yeah. More than two minutes, I'm not watching it. I don't watch, the, I don't oh, yeah, watch any either. of the Snapchat like stories that aren't like my friends, and then I don't watch IGTV. I watch tutorials. Neither am I, but that's just like a waste of time. That's a personal thing, you know? Okay. I feel bad. Yeah, it's kind of right, maybe and see, I'm wrong. And it's funny, because I, I was super, super, super heavy on Snapchat just a couple years ago. Like, it was my business card. It was my Snapchat code. I was like, this is... And I... I've always done things differently. Like I never looked at social. I understand that I can promote my business and get it in front of eyeballs on social media, mm -hmm. but where I think New Scooters for Less really won, and I actually talked about this in my talk in Columbus, was we started using social media as customer service platforms. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna use the DMs. You know, I, I had I had girls who were they couldn't get their scooter started at 10 o'clock at night snapping me Colin I don't know what's going on it won't start can you help me and like here I am you know at home like trying to help this young lady get her scooter started at 10 o'clock at night but because we were willing to do that 
it separated us from the competition that isn't doing that and that built that you know that ultimately built our reputation and built our brand so i think really focusing on like using social media platforms as customer service tools really gave us a leg up when it came to our competition so yeah. out of the darkness i rose up golden my soul it's a gold rush yeah. so the startup scene in gainesville's gotten a lot bigger over the last like five years um like companies like the startup gainesville from the game are you what is your opinion on on that affecting the business community here is it a positive or is it a negative it's extremely positive startup gnv is incredible it's run by a board of volunteers who own companies, who own startups. Like, I think uh, Aiden from Feather is like the is on is the president of the board. I think, um, but he like he has an incredible company that started right here, and it's an opportunity like to get involved, and you absolutely should. Um, these resources were not available when I was in school. When I graduated, when I decided I was going to start this company, do I have to do it all on my own? I had to figure out how to lease a property. I didn't know anything about renting a property, setting up utilities, applying for a business license, applying for sales tax, applying for all this stuff. Like I had no idea what I was doing. And now there's so many resources that will like walk you through that step, like through those steps. And there's really cool entrepreneurs in the community that will help you if you don't know or help you find the right people. So absolutely, like it's the resources that are available are top notch right now. You should absolutely take advantage of them. All right, what up vlog? Just got done speaking at Delta Sigma Pi business fraternity. That was awesome. Now we're back here at the dealership hosting a little Instagram mastermind. I call it Instagram mastermind just cause like I posted it on Instagram and everybody who was here said, yeah, I'm coming. Um, Logan's already here. What's up fam? Logan Peck, everybody right there. And, um, I expect like 10, 11 people and it should be a good time, a couple, two and a half hours, just kind of diving into business challenges and anything else that they want to talk about, man, because this is what I love. Hard on the beat, let it bleed out like sacrifices, cut it open emotions, spilling like oil and coasting. Therapy for my mental, I'm pinning a pistol and shoot down the criticisms individually. I heard the voices that told us. Yeah, yeah. Throw dirt on my name and wish me the worst and scold us, yeah. Shot through the heart and pray on my downfall. But young T prevailed on my outlaw. Stand on top of the table like John Wall. Got the cross on my chest like Olympic gold. Rap it smooth on the floor like a jazz song. Witness greatness, look up and look up. My microphone and now I'm like, breaker one nine. Check, check. I was just telling them outside when like, you know, it, it was really interesting to see who wanted to come to this little mastermind session and to bring some context to everybody who's watching the vlog, literally posted up on Instagram, hey, is there anybody who would be interested in coming to like a little mastermind session? I'm just thinking here at the office, it was completely random one night and I had like 28 people say yes. Um, and then I just threw out a date and 11 people could, 11 people plus Josh can make the, uh, can make the date. So it was really cool. We crammed in the office. You guys saw it. Um, but I love the fact that a huge portion of the people who came were creators. I mean, we have photographers and videographers and graphic designers and, and it's one, it's inspiring for me as an entrepreneur because those are the people like, I mean, I love everybody, but like, I love content creation and I can't do what I do without the skill sets of individuals like yourself. So it's a, it was just a lot of fun. We had a good time and Caroline and Logan are here to help me sign off this episode. I mean, did you guys enjoy it? Did you have fun? Yeah, I would do it again. Speak it to the mic. I would do it. <laughs> <laughs> you would do it again? I would do it 10 times. Do it 10 times? Yeah, 10 so, um, well, I mean, so, what was the most valuable <laughs> part for you? So for me, uh, so uh, I drove down uh, from Jacksonville to be here, just so you all know. Um, Colin's really important, great individual. Actually, he, <laughs> when I when I met him the very first time, he inspired me um, and helped me come up with the technology for doing my first podcast project. So just a tip, I don't think I ever shared that with you, really? but that was our first conversation okay. at Hillel, and that was really awesome. Yeah, cool. So thank Thank you for that. Yeah. What was really helpful for me in this is I did, uh, I've been a part of sort of one kind of group like this where you get a bunch of entrepreneurs together and everybody just is sharing what they do, what they're passionate about and basically getting people to collaborate. And it's really all about, it's 
I enjoy getting in the room and being face to face with these other people and just finding out what drives them. Cause it helps me affirm like, Oh, like there's other people who are either doing really well or like other people who are struggling. Here's what I'm struggling with too, because we all do from time to time. And I think it's good to be reminded of that, that we're not alone in this. Yeah. So that's what was really valuable for me. Yeah. What about for you, Caroline? I forget to talk in the mic. Uh, I think uh, the biggest thing for me is is getting um, the perspective of the opposite gender, I think is good because you were the only people. Yeah. Yeah. um, It felt sometimes awkward, a lot of testosterone, but at the same time, I think um, like getting the perspective of someone that's not, I guess, since we were all creatives and we're all in the same like area, I think it's important for getting opposite. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to say. This perspective or getting Yeah. Getting an opposite perspective of the opposite gender and like getting a perspective to help you grow in your industry. Like since we're all creatives. Yeah. So. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's crazy because like we started this vlog at what time do we leave? Like five thirty? Yeah, five thirty. I mean, we've re- we've literally worked another business day. <laughs> I mean, it's almost midnight. It's eleven fifty p.m. right now. Uh, we've worked another business day after the business day that I already worked, which we did not vlog. Uh, Calling so, you an entrepreneur? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Like, and it's funny because we're saying we gotta go home, and Josh still has to work and unload this footage, so that way we can film tomorrow's vlog. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. So thanks for watching this vlog, and make sure you hit the subscribe button. There's the call to action, baby. Hit the subscribe button, and um, you'll be exposed to amazing creatives like these two. We'll see you later. Bye. Underrated, underrated, we the underdogs, underestimated. Yeah. Underrated, underrated, we the underdogs, underestimated. We the ones. Yeah, yeah, we the ones. Yeah, yeah, we the ones.